Tonight, as federal agencies work to slow the spread of bird flu, a Bay Area infectious diseases expert is breaking down the risks here at home. Here's ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell with what to be on the lookout for. It does give us a wake up call. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is talking about the spread of bird flu, also known as avian flu. The virus has now been detected in cows in nine states and is showing up in milk on grocery store shelves. The FDA emphasizing it is still safe to drink. We need to continue to do surveillance to be on the lookout for something that might affect our communities. The Department of Agriculture issuing a federal order this week requiring bird flu testing in dairy cows, trying to stop the spread. The concern being if the virus keeps spreading among mammals, it could bring the disease closer to being able to be spread among humans. I think people are worried that if this particular strain of bird flu infects a pig, because the pig can be infected with both human flu and bird flu, they can sort of like uh, commingle and then create a, a kind of bird flu that can affect humans. And while there are no reports of the disease spreading among cows in California, the Bay Area has been hit hard by bird flu in past years. Hundreds of thousands of chickens and ducks had to be destroyed after an outbreak in Sonoma County last fall, causing egg and poultry prices to soar. The California Poultry Federation telling Dan Noyes of our ABC7 News I team the avian flu outbreak was devastating for the poultry industry. When you have a depopulation of a ranch because of bird flu, the ranch is disinfected and cleaned, and then it's got to stay empty for a while for it to make sure it's not ha doesn't have any more diseases. So that farmer is out a few months of actually work. Um, income. Meanwhile, Dr. Chin Hong has a few reminders for staying safe. Don't drink unpasteurized milk at this point, no raw milk. Number two, don't handle dead birds or, or sick cows. And number three, if you've handled dead birds or sick cows and you have uh, symptoms of flu, headache, uh, you know, muscle aches, problems breathing, red eyes, please seek medical attention. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.